y'all so real or not real let's get into it y'all look at my skin though this glow that's coming through mario he trying to come for top foundation of 2023 heavy what's good youtube brianna loren here happy new year thank you for clicking on this video and we are starting the year off with saying thank you to all you guys for watching commenting thumbsing up every single video so grateful for just the feedback i get from you guys on every single video today we are going to be trying out the beautiful and brand new makeup by mario surreal skin foundation when this dropped i was like all right surreal skin what's what's behind the name of surreal and surreal means like it's so bizarre it doesn't even make sense and one thing i want to say that is so surreal is the fact that we're here right now in 2023 so much happened last year different shootings and loss of people sickness like having to get surgeries job losses family losses like all those things could have taken you out and you could have given up you could have said i'm not waking up i'm not going forward towards my dreams helping my family helping bettering myself but you're here today and that is awesome it is really a good time to reflect and be grateful that no matter what you went through you're still standing you have an opportunity to move forward to change to learn to evolve and that's surreal right there because a lot of people choose to just stay in the past and stay in what has happened to them and feel like they can't move on or they can't change or you know make new choices but you can make new choices and for me, with Christ, all things are possible. So I want to let you know that you being here, January 2023 is a blessing, y'all. And this foundation dropping, okay? Mario's really trying to come for foundation of the year at the top of the year. I have it on right now. We're going to get into shade matching, me applying it. So if you're interested in surreal skin, seeing this in live action then keep on watching all right y'all let's get into this foundation this foundation is 42 dollars. it is one fluid ounce it comes in 30 different shades considered long wearing medium coverage it is a liquid formula and it's supposed to be very hydrating it has this new technology called moisture grip so your skin is really supposed to grip the moisture and the foundation so your skin stays hydrated all day long so got the foundation brush this is f4 this side is a little bit more smaller dense compact for more fuller coverage and then you've got a little bit more of something that's less dense a little bit more fluffy i would say this side would be more of a natural finish this side you can really build up the coverage i picked up three shades of this foundation i'm going to swatch these so you can see what these look like and which shade would be your match what shades my match so that way we can figure this out together 20n medium dark with neutral undertones next shade i have is 21w which is medium dark with warm undertones the last shade i have is 22c which is medium dark with cool undertones what I'm also going to do is put a little bit of this on my chest 21n 21w 22c I almost look like I could fall into the 22C range or 21W. Okay, so now I'm looking at a compact mirror, 21W. So we're gonna try it out. I have just some moisturizer on my face. Let's go in with the brush. Also, two quick tip, if you bought a foundation and you're not sure about the shade, don't pump it through. Just open up the top right here and get the foundation from here. That way you can return it and somebody else can use it if you start to pump it through they have to literally toss it all right so we got 21 w why did i pick this shade i have some discoloration around my mouth just from sunspots dark spots and i think this will help give me a little bit more color correcting Ooh, that's really pretty it's got a really pretty glow to the skin anything makeup by mario that's new 
especially complexion, I'm buying. And I know he's working hard at this. The coverage of this is my, my speed. 21W coming through. All right, I'm gonna go in with the other side. Wow, bring down to the neck, y'all. Don't neglect the neck. Go right now in the comments, tell me what you guys think. Are you already putting this in your cart? Clicking checkout, like, let me know. So the other side, I'm gonna do some translucent powder. So I have one size beauty. This is just a refined sponge, and I'm gonna go in where my pores are the largest. This is a trick I do that I've done for a very long time when I want more coverage and filling the pores and longer wear. We're going in and I just start to build this coverage up. Oh yeah. All around the mouth. I will say I like doing the one size first and then foundation over top. I'm just really building to the coverage that I want and just kind of show you guys how much coverage we can get. Thoughts, comments right away. It's nice. I like that it does really blend into my skin. It's giving really pretty light reflecting glow onto the skin, which I like. Doesn't feel heavy at all covered my discoloration a one i've been finding like my foundations are a little bit too cool or too neutral so this is giving me the color correcting i'm wanting right now this brush is it for me i mean his brushes are so good but i haven't had any of the complexion ones this one is really tough i'll put the rest of my face on we're gonna go through this real quick and then we're gonna come back, final review. Okay, you guys, so finish the makeup. Everything is looking very, very nicely. I don't have any highlight on. I only use Mario's Desert Rose Blush, and the foundation is giving this beautiful illumination to the skin after I have already kind of set, put my concealer on, blush on. It looks like my skin. And when this lighting, you know, shows everything, but when I look in my mirror, it's refined. The finish of this foundation is really beautiful. It's supposed to not oxidize at all, which is major because when you put out a foundation, you go, you pick the shade, you're not sure, is it gonna oxidize? Is it gonna change? And right now I've probably been wearing it almost for 20 minutes, half an hour, and there is no change. I think 21W was the best choice for my skin, which was a little bit warmer, and then I used Chestnut NARS concealer to kind of give me a little bit more of a neutral, cooler tone center of the face, but like, it's kind of giving surreal skin. Medium buildable coverage. For me, this is pretty full coverage. I don't like to go anything more than this because then I feel like it could look a little heavy, a little cakey. And I think I'm gonna have to come back and do a complexion update of just what products I've been seeing have working well with my skin. But right now, this is gonna be in the rotation. I don't expect anything less from Makeup by Mario. You know, when you watch how he does complexion, on Kim and all his other clients. It's creme de la creme. This product right here, y'all, it's all worth the $42. Did not have to use a lot of this, but the complexion brush, especially this smaller taper side, really builds up the foundation really well. Yeah, right now it's getting a 10 out of 10, five stars. I mean, I didn't color correct. Like, look around my mouth. Normally I have to color correct and I did not have to do that. That's major. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was informative 
for shade matching if you're close to my complexion. Thank you guys for watching. Again, Happy New Year. We're gonna have more videos coming out for you guys, more reviews, and just more sharing the gospel, makeup, beauty, hair, all of it. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe right now, hit the notifications bell so you do not miss a video with me and I will see you in my next video. Peace out, Cub Scouts.